All right. Right now we are going to be measuring the C4 steel reaction plates. Uh, there's five of them. We're going to start off, start off by checking cone, uh, both uh, cone in and cone out. The max for that is 40 thousandths. A good way to check it is obviously on a flat surface and, and uh, hear how much cone in and cone out has. So we'll start with the first one. That one's good. That one's good. And what I'm listening for is, so this, you can hear it, that it's got, uh, so this would be the, the cone in, and the other side would be the cone out. And, it, and it's only on that one side, so that's one's good as well. This one's good. And the fifth one. And that would be cone out, and that's good as well. Next, I'm going to measure them. And we do this with a go, uh, it's like a go, no go gauge basis. Uh, and the spec for that is 2.36 millimeters. I have it set on this micrometer right here. We're going to go, so it's within, it's within, it's within. So that one passes. That one passes. And you can see there is some discolorization on this one, so this one would probably want to, and some, a light glazing. Um, that That is okay, though. So I just wanted to note that, though. That's good. That one's good as well. And that one's good as well. So they all are passing. There's a little bit of discolorization on them and a little bit of glazing, but that's pretty normal for those those uh, reaction plates. So other than that, they're all good and they check out.